Hey. The topic I am going to discuss is construction and labeling of bar graphs. Data graphics. Data graphics are visual representations of data that are used to display information in a clear and concise manner. The construction and labeling of data graphics are important for effectively communicating the information they contain. Bar graphs. Bar graphs are a simple and effective way of representing data in a visual format. It consists of a series of bars, each representing a category, with the length or height of each bar proportional to the value it represents. They are particularly useful for comparing data between categories or groups. They are also useful for showing changes in data over time. Steps in constructing a bar graph 1. Determine the data to be represented. The first step is to identify the data that you want to represent in the form of a bar graph. 2. Organize the data into categories. Once you have identified the data, you need to organize it into categories. This will help you to compare the data in a meaningful way. 3. Choose a scale. Decide on a scale for the bar graph. This will depend on the range of the data you are representing. You need to choose a scale that allows you to clearly see the differences between the categories. 4. Draw the X and Y axes. Draw two axes on a graph paper or use a spreadsheet or graph making software to create the bar graph. The X axis will represent the categories and the y-axis will represent the values. 5. Draw the bars. Draw a bar for each category, with the height of each bar proportional to the value for that category. The bars should be positioned next to each other, so that they are easy to compare. 6. Label the bars. Label each bar with its value. You can either write the value directly on the bar or next to it. Example. The number of patients seen by different departments in a hospital over the course of a week. In emergency department, 80 patients. In pediatrics department, 30 patients. In surgery, 50 patients. In neurology, 40 patients. And in cardiology, 70 patients. And here is the bar graph, displaying the above data. The red bar represents the emergency department. White one represents pediatrics. Yellow represents surgery department. Brown for neurology. And finally violet for cardiology department. All the bars are aligned according to the number of patients in each department. So, using bar graphs we can present our data in a visually appealing manner. Advantages of bar graphs. Comparison. Bar graphs are an effective way of comparing data between categories. They allow you to see at a glance which category has the highest or lowest value. Simplicity. Bar graphs are simple and easy to understand, making them a great choice for communicating data to a wide audience. Customization. Bar graphs can be customized to suit your needs, including the choice of colors, labels, and scales. This makes them a flexible choice for representing a variety of data sets. Trends. Bar graphs can also be used to show trends over time, by representing data in sequential order. Disadvantages of bar graphs Limited to discrete data Bar graphs are limited to representing discrete data, so they may not be suitable for continuous data such as time series data. Can be misleading Bar graphs can be misleading if the scale is not chosen appropriately, or if the bars are not proportional to the values they represent. Complex data. Bar graphs can become complex and difficult to read if there are too many categories or if the categories are too similar in size. In these cases, other types of graphs, such as histograms or line graphs, may be more appropriate. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give us a like. Subscribe for more videos and also share with all your pharma mates. Thank you.